everyone and welcome to my new video. So, as you can see, this video is special edition Christmas. I'm already so much in the Christmas spirit. And in this video, I want to show you top five, the craziest Christmas tradition to me. So, stay tuned. Have you ever heard of Cloud Wow Championship? If you haven't, I can tell you that you're definitely missing out something. It's the world's greatest competition for Imagine Santa Clauses. It's uh, situated in Swiss and every year hundreds and hundreds of Santa Clauses are trying to be the best one and to, to obtain a reward. Known as the Cloud Wow, the two-day contest, contest marks the opening of the winter season in Switzerland. It is a little triangle in one a ski resort between Austria, Italy and Swiss. Do you know that goats are pretty much appreciated in some countries, especially during the Christmas time. Sweden, holly goat is built, rebuilt every year. Actually, it is 13 meters tall goat made of straws. It's pretty difficult to do it. And it actually takes around 1000 hours to build such a thing. It is usually put in the beginning of Christmas period in the Christmas on the Christmas market, but usually it never stays more than day for it up to 48 hours because people usually burn it. If you're Swedish, if you live there, please let me know why are you doing this? It's such a hard work. One of the Christmas shoes that I found the, mo the craziest is Christmas in Australia. It is summertime. And they're especially crazy because during the Christmas season they serve dressed as Santa Clauses, have bird, have great Christmas parties on the beach, and it's up to 40 degrees, but they still don't miss to put a Christmas tree on a beach. Sounds amazing, right? La noche de Rabanos. Have you ever heard of something that is called La Noche de Rabanos in Mexico? Well, I have. La, La Noche de Rabanos in Oaxaca, Mexico is an amazing festival and is dedicated to ravishes. Imagine everything is done with the radishes. So actually the event has its origins in the colonial period when radishes were introduced by the Spanish. Oaxaca has a long wood carving tradition and the farmers began carving radishes into figures as a way to attract customers during the Christmas market. But as it was tradition that started in 1897 and it was really a big deal for that market even though today we can buy radishes or see them everywhere this this piece of art stayed as a great culture and traditional part of people in mexico and finally we've come to number one for me something that i find the craziest tradition of all christmas tradition that i've ever heard is in japan japan is not a christian country only 2.6 people are christians so just 2.6 people are actually celebrating christmas but that doesn't mean that they don't have the craziest tradition ever since christmas it's pretty much you know known for a great amount of food people in every country people people prepare their traditional food meals sweets they have big dinners big lunch and so on well in japan is a little bit different they actually go to kfc kfc which is actually kentucky fried chicken amazing just imagine you heading to mcdonald's on a christmas day mother were would probably freak out if I told her that for Christmas I'm going on a Kentucky Fried Chicken. That would be my top five craziest tradition ever. 
Tell me where are you from and which are some crazy traditions in your country. What do you do on a Christmas day, on a Christmas evening or a New Year's evening? Don't hesitate to write down your comments. I'd love to read them and to respond to them. And to finish this, I will finish with telling you, of course, Merry Christmas in two languages. You know that I'm a language enthusiast and it's my number one thing to do. Firstly, English. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I wish you all the best. Have a great time, be happy, do the thing that you adore, eat well, stay healthy, love you. Joyeux Noël, je vous souhaite un très bon Noël avec plein de nourriture, avec la bouffe très bien. Et c'est tout pour moi et bien sûr pour Nouvel An, pour, pour les fêtes de Nouvel An, pour, pour des fêtes de fin d'année, profitez bien, mangez bien, sentez-vous trop bien, sentez-vous comme chez vous. Tout le temps, je vous adore, je vous embrasse trop fort, beaucoup d'amour de quoi si. Bye. En espagnol, bueno, feliz Navidad et prospero año nuevo. Lo quiero felicitar, lo deseo las cosas más, las cosas la más buena del mundo. Besito de mí. En portugués, feliz Natal et prospero año nuevo. Que vos, que Natal de você seja abençoado, cheio com as coisas boas, com amor, amistade, com as pessoas que são positivas e comida muito boa. É sempre, é sempre. O mais importante, não. Beijo.